Howdy, howdy. Kind of wanted to give you an update on one of the things that I am working on. And uh, after Hurricane Helene went through and I saw everything that was going on in, uh, in North Carolina and in, uh, in Tennessee, I thought, you know, I really need to just stop making excuses. Not that I had any good ones to begin with. And, uh, and get this ham radio license out of the way. So, when, uh, when I went to achieve this task, I looked at several different publications and whatnot that, uh, all tell you that they can help you pass the test and all that good stuff. And, uh, I only, this is the only, I went with this one, this is the only one I've experienced, so I'm sure that other people have had similar results with other, uh, little books or whatnot. Um, but I'm telling you, this is an incredible program right here. Uh, this is what I've been using. I'm about, I'm real close to about halfway through uh, as far as studying. Um, and that's over the course of the last like three days. I've only spent three days, uh, the last three days working on these. And uh, I'm almost halfway there. I'll be halfway there before the end of the day. Uh, so, and I'm just kind of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not setting myself a certain goal for a day or anything like that. Uh, what I'm doing is I am gauging what my mind is able to absorb. And so uh, if, I, if I read a chapter and I take the, the chapter test, uh, the test at the end of the chapter on their website, I'll show you that in a second. If I'm struggling a little bit, I'll finish the test and I'll back off. I'll do whatever else, you know, do something else for a while or whatever. And then what I will do, and this is just my advice for others as well. What I will do is I will come back to the computer. I will go and I will retake that test to make sure that I can get all the questions right. To make sure that I did actually absorb the information from the previous chapter. And then I will continue on with the next chapter. That's how I personally do it. You do it whichever way works best for you. But uh, let me show you real quick. So not only do you get uh, the, the book that you get to study with. Uh, but you get access to their website here. And you don't. You can get access right now. You can go sign up an account with a website. And have uh, access to all these tests and stuff. But let me show you. I'm, I'm already logged in on their website. I'm going to go to practice exams. And this is really cool. I'm going to click on this and it's going to give me several options. Well, typically you're going to choose this first one here. Technician class practice exams by chapter. And so you will have, I just finished up chapter 18. I'm starting on 19. There's a total of 40 chapters. So... Um, what you will do is you will take your chapter test at the end of each chapter and every so many chapters they will have what they call a progress check and what the progress check does is it throws the whole kitchen sink at you right um, so what it is you've got so many questions in in your in the question pool and it's like many other types of multiple choice types of tests like this to where there's a large question pool and they'll pick so many questions out of each section of the question pool pretty much this is the same thing so what happens when you take this particular exam like after each chapter what happens it only pulls you know some of the questions out of some of the sections of the question pool it's by no means all of, you know every time you take this test it doesn't give you every single question out of every single question pool up to that point However, what it does do is it does take some of the questions out of the question pool for all the previous chapters. So, meaning when I took the test for chapter 18, it included questions for all of the previous chapters too. That way they can keep everything kind of fresh and new in your memory. Well, when you're done, uh, or when you go so far, when you get so many chapters, they'll have you take a progress check. And if I'm not mistaken, what the progress check does is it throws it all at you, the gauntlet. It asks you all the questions up to that point in all the different question pools 
up to that point that you are. So I think it's a really incredible way, and I could have that wrong if I do, my apologies, but I'm pretty sure that's what these progress checks are doing. This is the way to go, without a doubt. Um, this book right here, The Fast Track to Your Technician Class Ham Radio License, covers all FCC technician class exam questions J uh, July 1st, 2022 through June 30th, 2026. See, that's how they do it in amateur radio. Uh, it will be the same test until June 30th, 2026, and then that's when they'll put out a new test. But anyway, um, this is, I'm sure, again, that there's other books, there's other ways that, that are just as good. This is the one that I settled on using, and I just wanted to give you a first-hand experience. I'm in no way representing these folks, or I will give you an Amazon affiliate link to, to this uh, particular book. Uh, of course, I'll make a, a little bit chump change if the Amazon little G gods decide that I am worthy of making that commission and uh, you know it's kind of it's um it's up in the air whether or not i'm worthy to make commissions from them apparently especially when i have people that's oh used my links to order computer parts to build an entire computer and all kinds of things that just simply isn't being caught by the tracking i i don't know but anyway I would appreciate if you use my Amazon affiliate link. Just don't hold your breath that I'm even going to know that you did. <laughs> anyway, um, this is a, an incredible way to go about achieving that. And uh, stop with the excuses. <laughs> stop with the excuses. Just uh, push forward. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I do have a little bit of an advantage um, from my electronics experience for, you know, and it does help some in that in that regard. Um, you know, just work with it. Just just work with it. It's really not that bad. This is one heck of a way to uh, to tackle it. So anyway, I hope y'all have been doing okay, and uh, we'll see you soon. Shalom.